Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Poland, I wish to warmly welcome you at the Warsaw Dialogue for Democracy 2017, Democracy in Dialogue, Dialogue in Democracy. Ladies and gentlemen, our gathering could not come at a more critical moment. As today's world faces many challenges, poverty, injustice, extremism, let me underline the importance of civic participation and commitment to protecting and promoting fundamental freedoms. Poland is proud to be part of the collective efforts to defend democratic progress and resist anti-democratic trends. In almost 30 years, after the historic peaceful transformation that Poland underwent successfully, from a communist regime into a modern European market economy, we remain committed to standing up for democratic principles, also outside of our borders, providing assistance to our partners in need. The situation is both improving in some areas and getting worse in others. Uh, what we see recently is some countries uh, that have been ideologically or politically committed against human rights, trying to get more organized and trying to export some of the very bad human rights practices and narratives to the rest of the world. And at the same time, we see tens of countries all over the world, different cultures, religions, regions, getting together with a counter-narrative that proves in practice that in order to develop, you need human rights. In order to be secure, you need human rights. In order to build a harmonious society, you need human rights. We hear from people from around the world, Afghanistan, Iraq, European Union, and I think bringing together these different voices in a dialogue about democracy is uh, a very important contribution at this time. Uganda, unfortunately, is a country that since its independence in 1962, it has never had any peaceful political transition. But now we feel like the new generation, the new age, are feeling that we're the new now, the new Ugandans, the new Africans, who should work towards bringing an end to the harass of conflict as a way of changing power. Recent situation, I would say the last 15 or 16 years of Afghanistan, where all the international community, including your country, was involved in Afghanistan, and we still did not achieve sustainable peace, is because we denied justice, and we did not try to touch on transitional justice and try to heal the people's wound. And if we do not heal the wounds, the wound will bleed. Uh, one thing about the Warsaw Dialogue is that I, I get to interact uh, with experts and academias from all over the world. And we're from like Uganda, Venezuela, Georgia, and Russia, and of course uh, Poland. Ladies and gentlemen, I do hope that the Warsaw Dialogue for Democracy can provide a platform to exchange good practices and bring us new ideas on how to advance the democratic cause globally.